Are you with me? Amen. Say amen. 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 Five minutes and I'm close. Hang on. But the Spirit is not only one mention. Go with me to verse 20, 21. Are you there? Amen. Then the messenger from God said, Do you know why I have come to you? But now I will return to fight against who? What did he tell Daniel? He said, I've got to go back to fight against the prince of Persia, didn't he? But look what he said. And when I'm through with him, the prince of Greece will come. If that doesn't let you know that Satan's not just for money. He's got your family. He's got your church in mind. And this being from heaven said that I've come to tell you the answer from God. But he said I have to go back. And I've got to fight against the prince of Persia. And he said, just as soon as I defeat him, he said, the prince of Greece is coming next. Oh, my God. And if you understand that this morning, you oh my God, I feel the Holy Ghost. If you understand what I'm trying to tell you, that the enemy has set up a government and he set up a territorial. Are you listening to me? He probably has a board down in hell. And he's stating, here's the prince of Persia. Here's the prince of Greece. Here's the prince of Southwest Florida. Here's the prince of Maine, Eller, Maine State of the United States. Here's the prince of the West. Here's the prince of the East. I guarantee you that he has demons that are assigned to every post. Honey, if that don't tell you something this morning, why the church better get back on their face and begin to pray. It's not over yet. Gabriel has to blow the trumpet, honey. He's a bird battling for you and I with Michael. Every time that you make a petition, Michael stands up with Gabriel and says, bring it on. Demon of Southwest Florida, I'm going to tell you when people pray firmly, my God, when people fast and pray Because we're knocked off our axis of the spinning. And we begin to get lopsided. And we begin to hear frustration. Instead of shutting your mouth, instead of getting on your face, instead of saying, God, reveal it. We're ready to hear any Jezebel spirit that will lift in, that will slither in, and that will slither out. We're willing to believe that, that we are to pay the price. Listen to me, I know what I'm talking about. We're willing to listen to that. Why? Because it becomes easier. It's more convenient than it is to get in a fast and to lay on your face and to say, okay, Michael, send me the answer from the throne of God. I'm laying here and I'm waiting for the answer. A lot of church people have bailed out. And 21 days later, the answer came. Oh, yeah. Are you feeling me this morning? So the messenger is going back to fight against the prince of the kingdom, the Persian. And then there will appear on the scene another great enemy spirit, the Prince of Greece. In other words, a different kingdom rises and falls 
different demonic spirits hold sway and have to be dealt with by God's messengers accomplishing his purposes. So it appears that there was a spirit over Persia and a spirit over Greece. But it also seems that Michael, the good angel, has some special assignments for Israel. Because it says at the end of the verse 21, this one says, Michael, your prince. <sighs> Honey, I don't know if you've ever seen a painted picture, supposedly, of what the archangel Michael was supposed to look like. I don't know how we've ever been. It's kind of like the crucifixion of Christ. You'll never see an actual picture of the actual. I've seen some good ones. But you'll never see a picture good enough to bring the pain and the hurt. But the pictures the last couple of days I pulled up on the internet to try to find Michael the Archangel. Some beefy, cut, ripped. Looks like he's been doing abdominal exercises for 50 years. Had gear, had leather straps on his back, had a sword. Big, beefy, hurtly looking guy was standing there on the screen yesterday and I looked at that and I said, my God, how, just looking at that, I know that's not probably what he looks like. He could be a 50 pound weak and honey wet, but when the power of God, are you listening to me, is manifested in the angel, Michael, the archangel, honey, I want you to know something. Go ahead and let the prince of Persia stand for the battle of the demonic force. Go ahead and let the prince of Greece stand for the battle of the demonic force. Go ahead and let the demon and the, and the prince of Alva stand for the demonic force. Go ahead and let the prince of South was Florida. Stay for the demonic force. Now that when I begin to kneel on my face uh, and Michael Gabriel begin to step up uh, and take out of their seat uh, and God says go ahead uh, and step out on the edge of the heavens. Uh, I want you to know uh, that when the battle begins to rage, uh, there's only one answer and that's God. Uh, it's going to triumph. Why? Because even the devil are subject to be answered 
my God. Honey, you'll be answered by the enemy himself. Woo. Come on now. There's two types of, of telepaths there. There's a path that God, in the realm of his spirit, wants to manifest and talk to you. But if that is out of the question, the only other is the realm of the prince of the demonic realm. Go on. Amen. Then the devil took him up to a high mountain. Uh oh, uh oh, go ahead. And showed him all the kingdoms, lowercase, uh -oh. of the habitable world in a moment of time in the twinkling of an eye. Stop right there. Satan said, Come here, Jesus. And he took him up on high. I'm going to prove to you that Satan is the governing body of the kingdom. He took him up on high and he said, look. And he used the word kingdoms, lowercase, meaning physical. Are you with me? If he says kingdom of God, it'll be a higher case, capitalization. But the lowercase said physical. Kingdoms, Persia, Greece, Iran, Iraq, Israel. He said, I want you to look at all these kingdoms. And then he popped in the question. Read it. Read it. And he said to him, to you I will give all this power and authority and their glory. All of their magnificence, excellence, preeminence, dignity, and grace. For it has been turned over to me, and I give it to you, whomever I will. Stop right there. Did that answer? Amen. He said, Jesus, not only do I want you to view the kingdoms, but he said, they've been turned over to me. He said, I run the realm of the kingdoms and the physical natural nature. He said, that one's mine, that one's mine, that one. He said, all of them are mine. And he said, if you will just ask, he said, I will give you any kingdom. Well, uh, I know I got one already said in Persia, but don't worry about it. I'll cancel him out for her. I'll give you Persia. I'll give you Greece. I'll give you any one you want because it was turned over to me. He said, when I took my flight, uh, he said, God spoke and he said in the visions, he said that they are in charge of the principalities. He said in the realms of the heaven. He said, I will all the way up uh, to the door of heaven. Uh, and every time that somebody tries to make a petition, he said, I call on the region they're in and I sit my man uh, and he goes up and there's a battle and he said he stands and he acts as he said I act and I'll give you any one that you want we need to understand in closing The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 4 4, and whom the God of this world had blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine upon them. It also says in Revelation 13 and 2, it says, And the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet were at the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion, and the dragon gave him his power and his seat. And great authority. He is. He is. The assigner. Of territorial spirits. He's not only the accuser of the brethren. He's not only the one. You see when we got this. We think. 